good Saturday morning, my friends. It is Saturday the 2nd of May. We have a, what we hope is going to be a fun day planned today. Today is the day we are doing the scavenger hunt. Um, my sister and her husband put together a list of 20 things that we need to take pictures of. Um, so it should be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. The list goes out at 8 a.m. Right now it is very early on Saturday morning. I am the only one awake. It is quiet in my house. I have a pot of Earl Grey tea brewing. My battery operated frother came yesterday. So I cannot wait to play with that this morning. And that's why I am brewing Earl Grey so I can make a London Fog Latte. Um, something I made about a week or so ago. I'll link the, the video to that. And I am obsessed. So now I have my little battery operated frother. And I want to try to froth almond milk. I'm not sure if it froths or not. Because that would make the latte zero. And if not, I'm going to use a quarter cup of 1% milk, and that will make the latte one point, and I will be happy to take a point for this. Um, what else? I'll show you when the tea's done brewing. I will show you how the frother works, because um, in my video, I used a manual one, and it doesn't do well with small amounts of milk, and it does not do almond milk, so... I'm hoping this one does. So our plans today, oh, I got my new microphone yesterday. So excited. Plugged it in, filmed a clip. I filmed my um, fabric produce and meat haul with the new microphone. Played it back immediately, thank goodness. Complete static again. So I thought, okay, maybe it's not the microphones. Maybe there's something wrong with my phone. So I got Doug's phone, plugged the mic into his phone, tried to film a little something, all static. Thought, let me try one more time. Got Andrew's phone, plugged the mic in, filmed, all static. So there's no way all three of our phones are messed up. Um, I didn't bother trying Adam's because by that time, three and I'm done. Um, so I think it's the microphone. So it's going back. And I am just going to have to deal with the sound issues being low in the beginning of a clip and getting higher. I know it's a pain in the neck. I know it's annoying. Trust me. I know. But I can't have the static either. I've tried three different brands of microphones. Not sure what to do. Um, I am saving up for a camera. So I don't have to use my phone anymore. But... Honestly, I love using my phone because it's always with me. I don't have to stop and think about having to take something with me. Um, so, I don't know. It's a work in progress. I am not a professional. I just play one on YouTube. So, anyway, that is my morning. Um, like I said, we're waiting for the scavenger hunt list to come out. I'm not sure what time we're going to go out. We have to... Go drop off canned goods at a um, local, one of Adam's friends is collecting um, canned goods for her food pantry at church. So we're going to go drop off a bag to her. We have to return the dish that the bread pudding came in. Um, and I purchased a loaf of um, apple cinnamon bread to give to um, my mom's friend also as a little treat. And... What else? Drop off some produce at my sister's house. And I think there's one more errand. So while we're doing those little porch drop-offs, we're going to be scavenger hunting. And then I'm going to come home and sew. Um, get started on some of these orders. And also, I have my own little project I want to do. Besides the tote bags, I want to make a tea cozy. I know, I sound so old-fashioned, don't I? But you know I drink tea. You know I love tea. And sometimes when I brew a big pot, knowing I will be drinking a lot of tea, of course it gets cold. So I am going to be making a tea cozy when I have time to do it. Um, between masks, maybe. We'll see. 
So that's our day and I will bring you along for the craziness that it is. Um, I think I am going to, I'm still in my pajamas, but I think at some point today I'm going to go for a run. Um, it's supposed to be really nice today, so I want to do that outside. So I'll probably wait until a little bit later and do that. And that's about it. So I will be back and show you how I make this latte with my battery operated frother. Okay, I'm going to attempt to hold the phone and use the frother at the same time. So my first experiment, this is a half a cup of almond milk that I heat it for 45 seconds. Let's see if it froths. A little bit, but definitely not like real dairy milk does. Of course, I probably should have read the directions on the frother. I'm assuming I'm doing it right. Okay. So we definitely have a little bit of froth going. I'm gonna pour it into, but it's def, now it's pretty much just milk with a tiny bit of froth. So I've come to the conclusion that almond milk doesn't froth. I am still going to thoroughly enjoy this. I'm gonna put a little bit of vanilla on top, mix it in and enjoy it. But I will have a second cup and we'll try it with regular milk. So stay tuned for a little bit later. Okay, here is a quarter cup of 1% milk that I heated. So I'm going to try to froth this. Let's see how this froths up. So this would be one point if you choose to use this. The almond milk was fine. Um, like I said, it wasn't as frothy, but it was still good and still made it nice and creamy. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put this in the middle like this or around the sides. Or hold it on the surface or dip it in deep. I guess I'll have to go watch a YouTube video to figure out how to work it because it didn't come with instructions. So there we go. Let's see. Oh, can you give me my tea so I can not prepared. Lots of cooks in the kitchen this morning here. Um, it frothed a little bit. I'm gonna have to work, oops. <laughs> I'm gonna have to work on this and figure out exactly what I'm doing wrong. Or maybe I just didn't buy a good frother. We'll have to figure it out. I'm gonna go have my breakfast and I will show it to you in a second. Okay, my breakfast this morning is a veggie omelet. It has mushrooms and I think like an eighth of an ounce of cheese in it um, and some two points worth of bacon. It looks delicious and I am hungry because I've already been sewing for a while. So one of the errands that we had to run, um, my sister has a patient who's a mushroom farmer and he gave her a huge box of mushrooms she gave me a lot of that huge box of mushrooms. So I in turn had a bag for Denise over at Dish with D. So I just dropped off her um, mushrooms on her porch and we had split a box of Built Bars. Uh, we wanted to try the new flavors, but neither one of us really wanted or needed a whole box. So we split a box of the new flavors and Doug was quick to open up the, what was this? Peanut caramel. I had some, it was really good. I really liked it. Um, I'm anxious to try the other flavors. Maybe I'll taste test with the boys when we get home and like break it up into four, I don't know. But the peanut caramel was really good. So I am glad we split that box and we are absolutely 
killing our scavenger hunt list. Yep, we are doing great. Still need to find that red belly bird though. I'm trying to think which of my friends have birds as pets and if they have a red belly. I think I need to send out a few texts. So we are done our errands. We are almost home. We absolutely crushed the scavenger hunt, found everything on the list. And let me tell you, if you're ever in a professional scavenger hunt and like there's like a million dollar grand prize, you want my husband on your team. The man has an eagle eye. Yeah. One of the things we needed to find was a bird with a red belly. We had to drop off, I told you, some stuff to my mom's best friend. We had to return her dish and she needed a few things. So we went to drop it off. And when we're pulling away, like there's like, I don't wanna call it a wooded area, but for lack of a better term, a wooded area in front of where she lives. And there were leaves and everything all over the ground. Doug spotted a bird. The bird blended in. I didn't even see it and I wasn't driving. He's like, look at that bird, look at that bird. See if it has a red belly. I'm like, what bird? So I finally see the bird. The bird turns around to look at us. It was a robin, so yes, it had a red belly. It turned around to look at us. It puffed out its chest and stood there for 10 seconds while I took a picture. It was almost like it was planned. Number one, how Doug saw the bird, I don't know. So he is a professional scavenger hunter. So we have found everything on the list. The pictures are not due until tomorrow night at 6 p.m., but can't wait to see how my boys did. I have a feeling they did pretty well because they've done these before with the swim team and stuff, so we will see. Okay, I am not very hungry for lunch, but all this fruit is looking delicious, so I am just going to have a little fruit plate for lunch for zero smart points. Okay, someone asked me to show how I make a mask, so I'm going to attempt to show you. This is the pattern I use. I just cut it out of a piece of card stock. I looked and looked and looked for the original video that I watched that I based my mask on and I cannot find it anywhere. That's where I learned to make this little pattern, but I can't find it because there are like 5 million mask tutorials now. So I just pin it to the fabric. I have two of them opposite, you know, both sides so I can cut faster. Pin it to the fabric and then I'm just gonna cut it out. And I'm gonna, <coughs> excuse me, pause the video while I finish cutting. Okay, what I neglected to mention was I had the fabric folded in half so I could cut out two at one time. So we have four pieces now of fabric. And I'm just gonna lay those out right side up and put the other ones right side down. So now we've got our two pieces of masks and then we're just going to sew right along the curve line Using about a quarter inch seam, I just kind of eyeball it. So I'll show you that step. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to sew right along the curved portion. Stick this one right in there. And we have our two halves. Together. 
Now we need to sew these two together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin these together. Let me grab my pins and I'll show you that. Oh, it appears I have a helper. Okay, let's see if I can do this without getting my hands in the stuff. So I have the two sides, like sides together, or pattern sides together. And I'm just gonna put one pin on there, make sure it's matched up. And one pin on that side. And then I'm gonna make sure the center seam, whoops, is matched up and just kind of pinch it over and pin that down. Turn it over and do the same thing for the other side. Now I'm guessing a real seamstress would probably pin more than this or measure or do it a little bit better, but I just kind of go by the seat of my pants. That's, I, I'm not a good teacher when it comes to this because I don't follow a lot of the rules. I'm gonna fold that center seam over. Then pin that last portion. And then we just gotta sew this together. One side. Now this side. And then we are going to turn it right side out. And we have the beginnings of our mask. So now I need to take it over to the ironing board. I need to press it completely. And then I need to fold in these edges about a quarter of an inch, just like that. And press that so we'll have a nice finished edge. So when I'm done ironing it, I'll bring it back and I'll show you. Okay, so the next step is putting the elastic in. I already did one side. So I just take this, put the elastic in just a little bit, pin it in place. Make sure it doesn't get twisted. Put it in the other side. Pin it in place. And then I just have to sew across the top, down the sides, and I go over the where the elastic is a few times, across the bottom and up the other side, and it's all done. do this without
I'm recording, Adam. Thank you. Hold on. And there you have it. It is. I'm just trimming off the edges here, the threads here. And there you have it, all done. Ta-da! And that is how I make a face mask. Now, you can also do a smaller version of this and put a filter pocket in. You can put a wire in for the nose piece, but for what the average person needs a face mask for right now, we don't need all that fancy stuff. We just need to have our faces covered to go out in public. So there you have it, my little face mask tutorial, if you stuck with me that long. It is an absolutely gorgeous, I can't even tell you how gorgeous today is out here in New Jersey. And we check the weather. Normally we plan our garden Mother's Day weekend but we checked and we are it looks like we are going to be free from frost so we are taking advantage today and getting the garden in the cucumbers are already in that's them and those poles will have string strung through them for the cucumbers to climb doug's putting the tomatoes in now we'll have lettuce back in that corner we will have peppers in this area, zucchini in that area, and this will all be tomatoes and eggplant. So looking so forward to having our garden again. This is about the, I don't know, 10th year, I guess, that we've had it. So it comes in handy, it's delicious, and we love to have it. rice and broccoli crepes with a salad on the side. The crepes pretty much have everything in them. They have our starch, which is the rice plus the crepe. They have our meat and they have our veggies. So kind of a one pot meal for us and just the quick salad on the side. I believe these are two crepes are six points on the blue and the purple and I think it's seven points on the green. I'm gonna have to look that up. The chicken always throws me on the green plan. So we are going to eat dinner and then it will be time for our weekly Zoom games with our besties. We play the Jack Box games on Zoom on Saturday nights at seven o'clock. It's a lot of fun. So the entire garden is planted minus four tomato plants that we still have to get from a different nursery and our eggplant that we still have to get. I think Doug is going to order those and do curbside pickup tomorrow for that. He is installing the irrigation system and we will be good to go. So exciting. So that is it for me tonight. We had a fantastic time on Zoom playing the Jackbox games with our besties. We had a lot of fun. I did not have a good night though. I lost pretty much every single one. Um, but I am done eating. I am done everything. I am going to put my pajamas on, lay on the couch, and read my book. That's going to be the rest of my night. I will be back on Monday with a full day of eating, and that's about it. Tomorrow, I am going to sew, 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 and try to get it all done tomorrow. That's my plan. We will see what happens. Um, so that's it. Have a fantastic evening and I will be back on Monday. If you know anyone, my videos can help. If you know someone that would like them, please feel free to share them. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And I will be back on Monday. Have a fantastic evening. Have a great day tomorrow. Stay safe. Stay healthy, and if you can, stay home for just a little bit longer.